Hey. One second. How's it going, people? Um, I'm in the dressing room right now, backstage at the uh, Taj Mahal, and um, it's like 1.15 in the afternoon, and um, I just had some catering, and, um, and now I'm back. It's weird playing in these places because they're like casinos. They're like hotel casinos. And like, it's just such a weird vibe. Casinos are such strange places anyway. Like doing a show in like the musical venue in the casino is such a strange experience. Um, it's so busy and smoky and like just a strange, it's just such a weird place. Such a dark kind of force. Um, but anyway, when we come to casinos, we eat in the cafeterias. So we're given like little key cards and stuff to get access to them. And you feel like you get to see where all the employees eat, like all the dealers and like entertainment people. And it's really funny because you're just like walking into this crazy world that you don't really belong to. Um, anyway, um, I am in the dressing room and, uh, I'm watching CNN. There's a Obama speech and, um, I'm checking internet and reading responses and there was one video response I wanted to respond to in particular. There was a girl named Sharon who said that she was un unhappy because she couldn't get to the meet and greet and didn't and people had trouble finding us and there was confusion with the meet and greet passes and the whole thing so I wanted to explain we only have two more shows left which is um, um, which is good for those of you who want to like kind of have an easier time with meet and greets because when we do our own shows we do uh, longer meet and greets and less uh, restricted meet and greets and I think it's hard when you play these big venues and um, just because there's so many people working here and security people and it becomes very hard to put on the meet and greet. We, we requested that we have a meet and greet every night and I don't think they really wanted us to do it but we made it happen. But we have to like, you know, compromise which is limiting the amount of people who can come so by selling the CDs as a way to come to meet and greet is, is, the only, is the only way to sort of restrict the meet and greet to a certain amount of people because we only sell a certain amount of CDs every night. Um, but if we were doing our own show, it wouldn't be like that because we like to meet everybody and it, needs to, it should be open and not cost you any money. It should just be available to you. So when we do our own tour, we're going to make that happen. And... Um, I guess I was thinking maybe a little trick. I don't know if anyone's ever done this, but it, maybe if you bring the CD you already have from home in your purse or something or your pocket, the booklet, maybe it'll just get you in. I think it probably will. So maybe that's a little secret. Um, but the tour is really going well, and we have two more shows left, and it's coming to the time where we start doing tour pranks. Because at the end of the tour, you start to prank, you start to mess with everybody. So um, we're, we're st we, we thought of a really funny prank, and we're going to actually do it tonight instead of tomorrow night. So um, it'll be funny. For those of you coming to, Atlanta, to this show in Atlantic City, I think you guys will know what I'm talking about when you see the prank. I'll try to film it and take pictures for those of you who can't make it tonight. And I think we're probably going to prank, get pranked tomorrow. Because tomorrow is officially the last show. So I'm hoping it's not too bad because it's like the last show. and Our set is so short anyway. It's like if you get pranked, how do you recover in time to have like a normal set? Um, so, but what else is going on? Going, going to Europe next week. It's pretty crazy. Tuesday we fly. Um, for another month of shows. It's going to be intense. A lot of traveling, um, a lot of playing, which will be fun. And um, 
I wish everyone could meet Shaq. Shaq's here right now. He's... It's not Shrek, it's Shaq. And he works at the Taj Mahal, and he does, like, sewing and stuff. Shaq? Hey, Shaq? No, he's not right. He's not here right now. He's the best. He's the funniest guy ever. But we met him last time we played here, like, in 2004. And now we're back here, and he's like, hey. He remembers us, which is funny. He says he has a picture of J-Lo and Rooney in his kitchen. <laughs> Which is a funny combination of artists. So, um, and he says he's gonna make us clothes because he's a skilled sewer. So, anyway, that's uh, my day. I sound like I have a stuffed nose, which I, I do. We have like a never ending thing that's traveling, it's like the worst. Well, that's all she wrote. Once again, we're going to be on tour this summer. And I um, hope to see you folks there. And uh, keep spreading the word. And um, stay positive. And try to enjoy these uh, moments in your life. Because you're going to look back and miss these days, folks. These are glorious times. Enjoy it. Alright, I'm going to go. I'm going to get ready. Peace. Got the camera, my God, this is wonderful. So this Hi, this is a Chinaman. I've worked with them before. These are wonderful people. I miss them so much. So I'm glad to see your guy come back. All right. I'm huh? so happy you remembered us. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Well. So cool. Anyway, that's Shek, everybody. I was telling you about Shek before. Here he is, right here. <laughs> He's gonna measure me now. That's so cool. That camera. So cool, right? Yay. Pretty, it's all ready to go on the computer. That's good. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. All right, see you guys later. Ciao. Ciao.